Oil in the intake manifold, causes and easy fixes explained. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we break down everything you need to know in the simplest, clearest, and most exciting way possible. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever opened your engine, pulled out the throttle body, or inspected the intake manifold only to see oil pooling inside? Well, today we're diving deep into why oil gets into the intake manifold, what it really means for your engine, and the easy fixes you can try before things get worse. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll not only know the causes, but also how to tackle them like a pro without panicking. A quick reminder to subscribe, like, and share this video. Why is oil in the intake manifold a big deal? So first things first, let's clear up the confusion. A small film of oil inside the intake manifold is actually pretty common. It's part of how the engine breathes. But when you see excess oil pooling, dripping, or coating your intake, that's when it becomes a red flag. Why? Because too much oil in the manifold can cause rough idling and misfires, poor fuel economy, increased oil consumption, clogged intake runners and carbon buildup, even damage to sensors like the mass airflow sensor or oxygen sensors down the line. So yeah, it's not something you should ignore. Main causes of oil in the intake manifold? Let's break down the most common reasons this happens. One, PCV, positive crankshaft ventilation valve issues. The PCV valve is supposed to vent crankshaft gases back into the intake while filtering out oil. But if the valve is clogged, stuck open, or broken, it will allow way too much oil vapor or even liquid oil into the intake manifold. This is hands down one of the top culprits. Two, worn piston rings or cylinder walls. If your piston rings are worn, excess blow-by gases escape into the crankcase. This raises crankshaft pressure, pushing oil vapor into the intake system. It's a more serious cause because it points to internal engine wear. Three, valve seal problems. Valve seals prevent oil from leaking down into the intake ports. If they're damaged or hardened with age, oil sneaks past and ends up in the intake manifold. Four, turbocharged engines, if you have one. Turbos are lubricated by engine oil. A failing turbo seal can leak oil into the intake tract, sending it straight into your manifold. Five, overfilled engine oil. Sometimes it's as simple as too much oil in the engine. When it's overfilled, the crankshaft whips the oil into foam and the excess pressure forces it into the intake through the breather system. Symptoms to look out for. How do you know if the oil in your intake is a real problem and not just a minor film? Watch out for these symptoms. Blue smoke from the exhaust, a classic sign of burning oil. Engine knocking or pinging due to oil affecting combustion. Loss of power or hesitation when accelerating. Check engine light triggered by misfires or sensor issues. High oil consumption, needing to top up more often than normal. If you're seeing two or more of these signs, the intake oil problem needs attention. If you're liking this video so far, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. Easy fixes you can try. All right, let's get practical. Here are the most effective fixes depending on the cause. One, check and replace the PCV valve. This should be your first move. It's cheap, quick, and often the root cause. Pull out the valve and shake it. If it rattles freely, it's usually fine. If it's stuck or broken, just replace it. Two. Inspect oil level. Make sure your oil isn't overfilled. If it is, drain the excess and refill to the correct level. Sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how many people miss this. Three, clean the intake manifold and throttle body. Remove the intake manifold and clean out all the oil and carbon deposits. Use throttle body cleaner or intake cleaner to restore smooth airflow. Valve seal and piston ring issues. Unfortunately, these aren't easy DIY fixes. Worn seals or rings usually require a mechanic's intervention, but a temporary solution can be using high-mileage engine oil with seal conditioners. They help to slow down oil leaks in older engines. Five, catch can installation. 
If you want to prevent oil vapor from ever reaching the end take again, install a catch can in the PCV line. It traps the oil mist before it can enter the manifold, keeping your intake nice and clean. 6. Turbo Issues If your car is turbocharged, check for oil around the intercooler piping. A leaking turbo seal will need a rebuild or replacement, but catching it early prevents catastrophic turbo failure. Preventative Tips Here's how you can avoid oil in the intake in the future. Regularly replace your PCV valve, cheap insurance, Stick to proper oil change intervals. Don't overfill your engine oil. Use quality oil suited to your car's specifications. And consider a catch can if you drive hard or on a turbocharged engine. So there you have it, oil in the intake manifold explained, with causes and easy fixes you can try yourself. Remember, a little bit of oil is normal, but too much is a warning sign you shouldn't ignore. Start simple with the PCV valve and oil level check, then work your way up if the problem continues. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, drop a comment if you faced this issue before, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more clear and practical car repair guides. Until next time, keep your engine clean, your oil level steady, and your car running smooth.